So I've had the pleasure of knowing my buddy Jake Bearded Gear for the last three years now, and it's been really cool seeing him go from knife reviewer on YouTube to full-blown knife designer, knife maker. And today we're checking out one of the newest models by Luff Concepts. This is the RWB, and the pre-order is actually happening tomorrow, Saturday. I believe at 12 p.m. EST. So I want to get this out to you guys quickly so you can see how incredibly cool the RW is as a model and give you guys more info in case you're a little hesitant. But I don't think you should because this knife is amazing. So let's dive into some specs. So for the RWB, we've got an overall length of 7.9 inches. We're looking at a blade length of 3.3 inches and a cutting edge of 3.3 inches as well. For blade material, we got S90V with a hollow vapor blasted blade grind. My particular model has this shredded carbon fiber, which makes it extremely light. And the other side of the handle is titanium. We've also got this really interesting pivot with, I think, like a titanium hauler, maybe. I'm not really sure, but it looks incredibly cool. So full transparency, I did have to message Jake and Ryan because I couldn't for the life of me understand what RWB stood for. So, just so I don't butcher this, RWB stands for Raoul Welt, Raoul Welt Begriff? Begriff? I'm not really sure, but he's a Porsche modder who makes wide body 911 builds, which is where you get this like really cool, kind of futuristic, beefy design for the RWB. I think it's awesome. It definitely takes the style of the Avant and almost like brings it into like a Blade Runner 2099 kind of thing. I absolutely love it. So a few things that stood out to me first and foremost is this compound clip point blade. Like, oh, it just looks so good. I mean, this is going to pierce through a lot of things. You have a really thin hollow grind as well. So it's going to slice through everything. And then you have your opening on the blade here, which makes it super fun to hit that spidey flick. The action is just incredibly tuned and I love it. The other thing is this really funny looking pivot. Like it's not funny looking in a bad way, but it is just extremely unique. And I don't even know where the shape comes from. I'm curious to see how like Jake and Ryan sit down and made this happen because it just looks interesting. This model that I have on loan to me has shredded carbon fiber scales, which I deeply love. I think it's really cool. I'm not a shredded carbon fiber guy by any means. But on this design, it just makes sense and I really dig it. I think it also helps with just making this an extremely light knife, which is just really surprising. You look at them and you think that this is probably going to be a hefty, heavy knife, and it just isn't. If you were to go with something like the brass one, that might be different though. Those might actually be a little heavier, but I think this is just perfect. As far as ergonomics go, I think it was designed really well. You have this little slant down here, which in my hands fits perfectly on like the meat of my thumb, which is just great. A ton of room, so you got four finger purchase, which is great. You don't really have a choil or any sort of placeholder here for you to choke up on, but that is absolutely fine. This to me is not a knife that I would hard use personally. You guys know how it is with me. This is most likely just gonna see paper and boxes and maybe some like medium-ish use. So that is perfectly fine. I actually feel really comfortable on here. You don't have any jimping. I do kind of wish there were a little bit of jimping, but at the same time, I think the jimping would take away from how sleek the overall design is. So I can't really knock it on that. Another really cool thing that I noticed is the pocket clip. Really interesting. Like it kind of goes in line with the scale and it is just cool. Deep carry, of course, this is going to fit perfectly. And yeah, it's just really interesting. I dig it and it's weird and I love it. So that's awesome. Like I mentioned earlier, it's been incredibly cool seeing the growth of Jake. I got to meet Ryan a few times now at Blade Shows. Super stand-up dude. Incredibly funny. Ryan, you're the man, brother. I love you. You guys are just doing incredible work, and I'm just stoked to see everything grow, right? There is a project in the future, which I'm actually not sure if I can mention uh, now that I'm bringing it up, but they just have a lot of great stuff in the works, and I'm super excited to catch up with these guys at Blade West. If you want an RWB, like I mentioned, there is a pre-order that is going live Saturday. So tomorrow, let me make sure I got my days right because I don't want to screw this up. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. EST, you'll have the opportunity to purchase the full titanium, the full PVD coated titanium, and then the brass titanium with zirconium collars and clip. So three different options to go ahead and 
fill in your pre-order, which is going to be great. All that information is going to be down below for you guys to check it out. Make sure you guys follow my boys Jake and Ryan and Luff Concepts on Instagram as well. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.